thing is with this, you don't want to overreact and you don't want to say, you know, this has to stop immediately because an element of it is quite fun. But there, it's, it's just when it goes too far. Yeah, it just crosses that boundary between what's hijinks and a bit of fun. Um, but I do think you know, it's a strong message that people are being scared. If someone's, you just say, gave birth, they were so frightened. I know. And they're jumping out. It is not. It's, it's not funny. You know, we have to stop this. It's causing alarm and distress to people. I would be scared to death if someone jumped out on me in in the dark, we were just talking about this, and I did a bike ride last year um, for charity, and somebody jumped out on me in the early hours of the morning. Um, we're in a Freddy Coog. I nearly dropped. I nearly I had know, a heart attack. I Scared know. me to death. I had a few choice words to say to him, but frankly, you know, they're committing an offence. Lucky you didn't know who you were. Absolutely. <laughs> well, let's so let's speak to you, Alice. Just driving through, um, passing it's like a re like a big retail park, it's like quite a main road. So. The lights turned to red, um, Lily shouted me from the back of the car, so I've turned around to check she was okay. And then she screamed and pointed to the front, so I've turned around and there was this cl this clown just lay on the bonnet, like with his head in his head, just looking through the window. So I was like, oh, like, what do I do? So my first reaction was to just drive off. Yeah. So I beeped the horn and drove off, but my, like, thinking about it afterwards, if those lights hadn't changed to green. I could have driven into oncoming traffic. We could yeah. have been dead. I could have ran him over. And, you know, I managed to settle them down and they were okay. It's coming up to Halloween. They're not, you know, they are children, but I managed to work them around to say, it's just kids messing around. Um, but then thinking about it later on, it's quite dangerous yeah. that somebody could get hurt, like, by being hit by a car. They're doing it on main roads or I could have been hit by a car mm. if those lights hadn't turned yes. at that time. Yeah, well, well, the trouble is that. with all of these things, <laughs> it's uh, it's the, obviously, you understand the, the craze and the, the fact that there is, not, I was going to say done properly, but, you know, but done carefully, there's an element of humour in it. But you have no idea the consequences of where this goes. Somebody panics, runs yes. into a road. Or retaliates. Somebody retaliates. Well, that happened in America, and yep. a 16 year old boy was killed, I think, on a porch mm. in America. But this because has been of going a, back since the 1990s, Stephen King film It. I mean, what will happen if we don't kind of just suppress this a bit? And like we say, we don't want to inflate this, with, but social media is already doing that. Someone was saying to me this morning, I hear that a load of women have been stabbed. That's nonsense. Yeah. And what the message the police would be saying very clearly is, we want people to have a bit of fun. We want our kids to dress up for Halloween. I think it's fantastic. It's a bit of fun. We've all done it with our children. But you know what? Just be mindful. When you're out there and you are frightening, you are intending to cause alarm and distress to people, then you're committing an offence against the Public Order Act. And what will happen? One of the magistrates is going to have to bang someone up and say, you know, shoot one, scare a thousand. You're going to have to go to prison because someone has really, really been scared and frightened, frightened like what happened with you. Thanks. Well, earlier we spoke to, we've changed his name, we're calling him Brian, um, who dresses as a creepy clown. We've also changed his uh, voice as well. He goes out in public to frighten the locals, also runs a Facebook community for others who like to dress up as clowns and scare people. Um, this is what he had to say. I dress as a clown to scare people because it's fun. I dress up every weekend. Um, we, would, we would just get dressed up, walk around. Um, I think other people have took matters into their own hands with weapons, but that's not um, that's not what we're about. Um, we just 100% definitely no violence. We, this is just about the fun, just because it's coming up towards Halloween. So you, you, you need to be careful who you need to approach. You can't approach um, you can't approach a, a young girl on her own and. On a night out, that's just you just can't do that. Definitely not children, definitely not old people, not elderly people. I think people have got the wrong um, gist of what we're trying to do. Quite recognizable hands there. Um, the um, the the you mentioned it, the Stephen King yeah. uh, film, and uh, and there was at one stage, um, the inclination that this might be a massive great publicity stunt and when the film company said no it's yeah. got nothing nothing to do yeah, with us um but um but as as brian said there you know that his their thing is not jumping out on old 
people no. and children and it's not carrying weapons. It's, it's quite Godless. scary. I mean, it's I find him quite scary. I found him scary. Yeah, he jumped out on me and I don't fit me. into those categories. Um, the other thing is that, you know, as we know, forces, forces are, are under-resourced at the moment. Yeah. If money's being taken away and manpower, man yes. time, to sort of sort out situations like this, the worry is that this could impact on the response to more serious crimes. Exactly. And people will want to call the police because we've heard about it, they've read about it and they are scared. But you know so what? what do they you just do? don't have that like, resilience. If I'm walking out tonight and I go past the shop and I walk down somewhere and I see one, what do I do? Well, just ignore them just and try and walk the other way. I think the media are making it a lot yeah, worse than it is. It's a lot worse than right. it is. Because yeah. the one paper said that this, this clown had a machete and was threatening my children. That wasn't the case. No. Mm. It's a bit of hype, so, isn't there? Well, Kylie it says, I think it's slightly funny, people have been doing this stuff for years. Yeah. Elaine says they haven't killed anyone, so uh, where are people's sense of humour? Charlotte says, I don't see anything wrong with it, it's just harmless fun. It's, it's not the prankster's fault that people can't take a joke. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. So he's at the so, door now, there he is. How do you How feel does that about feel? him? Yeah, I'm still here, so... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So feel... we'll bring him a little bit closer. Can he come closer? Yeah. How close can he come? Yeah, it's fine. Can you he, can <laughs> he, can he keep coming closer? Yeah. Your oh, yeah. um, <laughs> siblings are going to hate the fact they can't tease you with this anymore. Yeah, I did, yeah. My, one of my older brothers did, yeah. 